Hi guys, so surprise, but I'm getting married in a few days. By the time you see this, I may already be married. I only booked it five weeks ago. It's a long story, but House of CB have sent me three pieces from their bridal collection and I had to turn my camera on. I could not not show you this. I'm thinking of having one of them for my second look, but they are honestly gorgeous. And I feel like this will be helpful if you're looking at House of CB bridal or if you're an upcoming bride or if you're like me and just love bridal and looking at nice clothes and talking about clothes. So let's try them on and just hang out for a little while. Why not? Considering I have hardly any bust, this look must look phenomenal if you've got a bit of bust. So I'm wearing an excess for reference and it's nice because it is tight. Like the corset is doing a job. It's really sucking me in. The shape of it is just gorgeous it's got a little bit of a train should we try it on with a veil this is a house of cb veil that i think i'm literally gonna wear for my wedding it's really long but it's like lovely and lightweight let me see if i can show you the back of the dress I'm just trying to position myself how bloody gorgeous it is gorgeous. It just has like a bit of a train. It's not too much, but it is like dramatic and bridal. And it just has a little bit of a sheen to the fabric. The fabric's like an off-white color. Really comfortable, nice and corseted, but still like feel like you can move, especially with one leg out. And overall, this is just an amazing sort of ready to wear wedding dress. It came in this gorgeous giant box, which I really appreciate from House of CB because my friend has just ordered a gown for my wedding and it cost her like, you know, over 500 pounds. And it came in basically what would be described as a gray vinted mailing bag. So it's nice to get a special box when it's a special purchase, but this dress is just utterly divine i'm thinking about wearing it for my second dress i've made my first dress so but i'd like something like a little less poofy to, for the evening so this is definitely an option let me do a little 360 just so you can see If you're a fashion bride, I feel like you will love this. Gorgeous. Okay, dress number two. I can only apologize about the crazy shadows behind me, but I have never had a more hourglass figure than I do right now wearing this dress. It is the most gorgeous, like ruffly, fabric that's creating this kind of mermaid shape i love how sculptural and like interesting it is it's it's got this like rouged bum effect and again it's got the corsets inside so it's very very sort of it, i feel really really cinched in at the waist and it's quite it's quite slim fitting on me actually all over again this is the excess so i was like taking a risk here by getting the smallest size it, as much as that first one but does still give me a little bit of boob it's got more of a like sweetheart neckline this one which again really works with the shape of it it's also an off-white color and oh, all this fabric and the ruffles are just beautiful like the way they move are really really fun i feel like this is i need to move i think i need to either wear higher heels or have it taken up slightly maybe i'm not sure it kind of skims the floor in quite a fun way let's try it with the oh sugar let's try it with the veil again i quite like how the veil is more of a white do i look like a bride I love the soft frilly fabric. I feel like that's really, really romantic. It's got like an almost overlay across the body. 
and it don't, doesn't have any stretch in it that I can tell. Maybe the tiniest amount. Like I've got a little bit more room in my boob, but definitely I am maxed out on the leg. Like I couldn't have it any tighter or I wouldn't be able to walk. But overall, it just feels like a really, really incredible dress. So this is another great option from House of CB. Which one do you prefer so far? Number one or number two? I don't know. I kind of prefer number one just because I'm so taken with the way that it gives me a cleavage, not gonna lie. But this one almost feels more, I don't know, almost feels like more feminine in a way. Gorgeous. Okay, dress number three, and I was the most excited about this dress. I'm a little bit sad because I feel like it doesn't make my figure as banging as the other two, but it's this beautiful all over embellished gown. I love how like structured and simple and straight down it is, but then it's got these incredible, like really chunky embellishments all over if you can see in, and they're sort of diamantes and pearls mixed together and i just love the big the bigger ones the smaller ones like it's really well thought out well crafted like all around the top there you've got like them dents and then the way they just slowly like drift out pitter out to just like little sparkles all the way down the bottom it is incredible like i I mean, or it's very, again, very fashion bride, which is exactly what I love personally. And I love how stiff and structured the fabric is. Like it's not often you get to wear this kind of like really heavy, dense kind of bridal fabric. I feel like so many dresses have gone really, really floaty, which can be nice, but I, I do love this kind of dense fabric, especially for like a black tie wedding and mine's a black tie wedding. So I'm thinking of whether I can wear this in the evening. I wish it was just like a little bit smaller on, on the bust. And I wish it gave me that free boob job the first one gave me. But I suppose it's meant to be a bit more demure not free boob job vibes but the way the corset so the boning not corset is sitting on the waist means that i can take these straps off and it's just being it's being held up by sitting on my wa waist it is like a little bit you can see that it's like a little bit big around the bust frustratingly but it stays up perfectly because it's just so tight here to be honest that's what's holding it up and yeah you can easily wear it as a strapless dress it even has buttons on the inside to sort of adjust adjust the straps which is just like a really cute, nice little detail. It's like properly crafted. Like they're not using those adjustable sliders. Like it's tiny inside hidden buttons to adjust the length of the strap. I mean, there is only two different adjustments, but then you're often likely to go and get a dress like this, like taken up or like slightly adjusted at the tailors anyway. I hope it comes across how sparkly it is too, because it is just phenomenal. And there is nothing better than sparkles at a party. Like it just looks so good. I plan on having candles and that kind of thing. And so I really am leaning towards like a sparkly dress. Oh my God, I wish I could get this taken in. I just don't feel like I have time. I feel like just, oh, just a bit at the back in the zip there would sort it out hmm and also like a tiny bit on the hips as well but with all this embellishment I do worry that it will take a little bit more time than I have before I'm getting married to get it taken in and I could do it myself but I also worry about my skills 
But yeah, what do you think of these three House of CB wedding bridal dresses? I think they are utterly gorgeous. It's nice to see wedding dresses that don't cost th above £5,000. Uh, I've tried on loads of wedding dresses that have been anywhere from two to £10,000 and the quality is just definitely there with these ones at a much lower price point and also ready, available, ready to wear. So if you're caught in a pinch, you can get them on next day delivery. Really gorgeous dresses. If you have any questions, if you're trying any of the, if you're wanting to try any of these dresses, you can actually try them on um, and send it back. They come with little white gloves, so you can try them on. But if you have any questions and I can be helpful, then please let me know. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did trying on these wonderful dresses. And I will see you in the next one. Okay. Thank you, bye.